Good morning. It is 5.30. I'm just getting ready to leave for work. Today, we're going to go pour a pretty large driveway. It's going to be done in two separate pours, one at 8 o'clock and one at 12 o'clock. Uh, the weather this morning is a little iffy. There is a little bit of drizzle, but right now it's to the east of here, and I think it's probably going to stay to the east of here. Hopefully, it doesn't get interesting. All right, I'm going to take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Well, if you notice, it's pretty much dark now when I'm leaving for work. Fall is just about here. That means winter is coming. I'm not looking forward to that. At this point right now, we have just a little over two months left of the season. I really can't believe it. The season went by so quickly. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Snow will be here before we know it. Going. Quick trip to Wayne speaking, may I help you? Morning. Morning, how are you today? Okay. Good, uh, and then you're gonna be in the kitchen. I don't have Rena, I don't have Isaiah. Who's running the coffee business? You. Yeah, All right. Sir, five o'clock this morning. I get you, sir. Double duty, huh? Yeah. All right, see you later. Uh, Thank rewards you. Rewards if you got it. Uh, Is that where you're gonna be later on then too, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'll make that a go for eight, and then we'll talk to you later on. All right, thank you. Okay, you bet. Yep, Thanks. Bye. bye. Concrete's ordered. It's still early. It's 6.11. I actually stopped on the job to get it measured and get concrete ordered early because concrete, the concrete supply company has been extremely busy and they've been really, really late. So I figured I'd call first thing in the morning to get my orders going. All right, I am pulling into the yard. It is 6.20. Bugs is here. That's it. Just bugs. Bugs and Jade. Hi, Jade. Are you ready? Are you ready? How'd you wait then? It was all right. How was yours? A couple loads of firewood. I got a nice. You got to be close by now. Pretty much set for. I've never been this good for the winter. Yeah. I got a pile in front of my house. <laughs> This weekend, I'm sweeping the chimneys. Yeah. Getting that. I'm in September. I'm ready to start burning wood. It's going to be October. Get cold pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, we need a composite blade and we need gas on that truck. Francisco's here. I was doing the schedule last night and I'm filling it in and I'm like, man, there ain't that much of the season left. No, there ain't. Eric's here. This thing is heavy, it's killing me. <laughs> Morning, Eric. So your job's going good? Your side job? Oh, yeah, dude. So... All those steps? Yeah, so all the... So, so right here... Like right here, that's still concrete. It's uh, it's like three feet. Oh yeah. And it has like. I hope you charge a lot for these. Yeah, I did. That's why I called you. Daryl's here finally. Should I just drive my truck to the job, man? Uh, yeah, that'd be fine. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You going with your dad? Okay. So everybody's here. I also have Tino and his cousin coming in. And uh, I know some of you are gonna ask, why do you got so many guys working on the driveway? Well, Tino and his cousin, they lost their job or whatever. So A, I'm helping them out a little bit. And then B, I'm gonna be honest, like this time of year, I start to get tired. Just total transparency. When you get into September and October, you know, all the stress, 
and then all the physical aspect of you know concrete work it starts to wear you out um, so I'm gonna bring in more guys than I need uh, a lot of times you'll see more guys than, than what we would actually need and uh, that's not gonna bother me we had a good season financially I can I can absorb that and uh, it'll just help me get through the rest of the season um, and not be completely burned out by the time Thanksgiving comes around all right, well, I just stopped at the gas station, got gas and everything, and Francisco and Eric are still not here. I already know where they are. The one chip challenge? I don't know, man. It's so thick, like there's no dust or nothing. It's just stuck on this thing. <laughs> It's and then the next day is even worse. <laughs> oh like, man, I, my stomach is strong. I usually don't have any problems with my stomach, but that heat, man, I don't even know if I want to put myself through that. I almost <laughs> threw up. My mouth was salivating so much, like just Ugh. spewing out. And then, like after the heat, then it's like the internal body heat. Wow. <laughs> like yeah. it's just boiling. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, yeah, the shut off. We're going one joint in. And then what we're gonna we're gonna pour up to here, and then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go get some stuff right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna chalk stuff. the line. We'll cut it now, leave it in, right. and then after the first pour, we'll actually take it out, Perfect. and then we'll just use a buggy for the little bit here right on. that it doesn't reach, so that way we don't have to do that in the middle of the pour. Right. Good. I'm gonna go run and get some spray paint and some of those blades, because there's plenty of time. Back on the job. Looks like Daryl Jr. has his wire hook ready to go. Looks like you're ready to pull a wire. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we finally made it out to Lake Michigan on those uh, boats. Oh, the big ones? Yeah. Yeah? That was fun. They look small out there. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty calm though, right? No. It wasn't calm? No, uh, we were supposed to go Sunday, but I mean, they were like six foot rollers. Oh, forget that. And then yesterday we went, it started out as like two to three footers. Yeah. But then towards like, uh, probably around like three o'clock, I mean, they were six footers <laughs> again. But so it was this, pretty rough ride? Yeah, this is kind of Bender Park power plant was like right here. Yeah. How far did you go? Uh, we went a little bit uh, farther south of the power plant. Yeah? Mm-hmm. We were originally going to head up to Sheboygan, but it just... Too rough. Yeah. All right, we're just about ready. I'm marking out the joints. They're getting set for the shut off there. So we're gonna pour up to about where, well, right where they are. Our second pour this afternoon would be super easy. Whole job's gonna be easy. I just hope the rain holds off. It's been getting darker and darker, but so far I haven't felt anything. Concrete should be here in about 15 minutes. Hey, did you guys see the whistling diesel video with the General Lee? With the twin turbos? You didn't see it yet? I seen, I seen it before my video. I think twin I turbos it. on a charger? They made a General Lee yeah. uh, rep, replica, but they put a big LS twin turbo setup, 1600 horsepower. Turbos are sticking out of the hood. It's super, it's and it is super nice. Oh, yeah, this one, right? This video, right? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, it came out, dude. Yeah. The twin turbo sticking out of the hood. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a nice cut. Dude, look at that. Beautiful. They just spent, like the movie? I don't know how much money spent on there, maybe a quarter of a million dollars oh, no. to have oh, this yeah. car put together. Oh, yeah. And he's in the gravel doing right. donuts. <laughs> Tearing it up. Yeah, the and paint. the paint is mint. The car is it was, was mint. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I saw that, I was like, oh, oh my God. Oh, we don't have a pencil, huh? Oh, okay. Stay there, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> it landed on his back and it stayed there. That was a good trick. <laughs> Dino's ear. No, we really don't. But. Mom's coming today with lunch. No, she's not. I'm glad I packed the lunch, man. It's Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. She works. We just, hey, we should one day go on her job and take her something. Oh, take my mom yeah. some lunch? We should up on her job and take her something. The problem is she works at Costco and they won't put up with that. They'd oh. run us out. Yeah, they would. Tomorrow we're starting a, it's a dry away, pretty good size. 
and it's got a re retaining wall all along the side of the garage. You're breaking that, huh? Don't let Daryl break it because he needs to like boop. <laughs> no, Darryl, there's no there's no wall there right now. We gotta add a wall. Oh, we're adding a wall. Yeah, because it's uh, on the side of his garage, but the land is sloped, so we need to build it up so we can put a nice level pad for his boat or parking or whatever he's gonna do with it. <laughs> Morning, Tino. <laughs> hey, look at Fonzie. He's, he's ready. Marching. Look at he's marching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Up in the morning, I go to bar. Go nowhere. You know that song? Yeah, bro. You know that song? Get up. He's warming up. All right. Sick, man. You sound like Ed Bassmaster. There's a speckle popping up right over Menominee Falls right now. A concrete contractor with no plastic? I know. Wow. That has got to be the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I think I should go, I think I should go get some, man. Yeah, probably. Bugs, I'm going to get some plastic, man. You know, I was thinking that on the way to, I was thinking that on the way yeah, to the job. Because they said it's, it could pop up here and there. A little drizzle, they said. Right. But we don't have any plastic have on the truck. I thought of that on the way here. I'm going to run and get that plastic. Concrete's here. Concrete's actually on time. Man, I hate not being here for getting some of this concrete down. I can tell you that. All right, good morning. How are you? All right, all right. I'll go off. Good. So you're just going to pull right in. We got plywood laid out and everything. So just pull right in there. I got the plastic and I'm right behind either the second or third truck so that's a good sign last week they were struggling to get trucks and this morning they are on time so that is a very good thing for us looks like the guys are doing good emptying out that first truck looks like they almost have it empty oh yeah they got pretty far man they hurt my feelings Getting it all done without me? Man. Morning. It's running late. <laughs> Am I running late? Yeah, no, I had late. to run and get some plastic just in case. Oh, I ran, yeah. Yeah, they said maybe some pop-up showers and some drizzle, but so far it seems okay. All right, first truck is empty. On to the second one. All right, they're killing bugs, so I'm gonna get in there <laughs> before he starts screaming. You don't need the mud stick, I'm coming. Thank you. Killing bugs over here. Move. Got an extra yard right here. Oh. Daryl, wire. <laughs> Nail these. Okay. Don't worry about the saw. Just get these nailed. Make sure it's straight, so we can finish.
Francisco, bring me that cam. Bring me the camera. Since you guys are just playing on the phone, you got time. I seen you. I know TikToks. I saw. What happened? The dog? The dog? Oh, the dog. Yeah, right. Bugs! Your dog, your dog chewed this in half. That's pretty strong. Cause that's pretty thick plastic, man. By the time I seen she had it, it was already a <laughs> Jade, Jade, that's coming off your check. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Of course she does. She makes more than you. So concrete's down. Eric's pretty much done ball floating. It's gonna set up fast. Poured really, really stiff. How do you think that pour went? Oh, it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think so too. We said but we didn't normally yelling at my dad, but that's normal. normal. Yeah. yeah, that's normal. <laughs> Can you go wash this, please? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. That's mine. Somebody used it. And didn't clean it. That's your side job? Yeah. It's good. Did it on the weekend. Did you really? Yeah, I swear. It looks good. That's good, right? Yeah. For my first one? Yep. It was me and my brother, he helped me. Yeah? Yeah. Gotta make some money, man. Exactly, do I have to? Little side hustle here and there. Because I, I got a baby in the way. No, exactly. I know. That's good. I like that. Eric's been doing a lot of side work. I've been giving him all the leads, and he's been signing tons of side work. I think he's booked for the whole rest of the season. Now Francisco's starting to do some side work, and I don't mind that. I like that. I want to see these guys do good. It doesn't bother me at all. I'll borrow them tools, rent them stuff, whatever. As long as it doesn't interfere with what we got going on here, I'm completely okay with it. If it starts to interfere with my jobs, then we got a problem. All right, those guys are taking out the very end of the driveway there. So we'll be ready for concrete. This stuff's setting up pretty good, ready for joints. Right where those boards come together, where I told Daryl to toenail it, see it's crooked, where the two meet, the shut off, that's gotta get fixed. We're all ready for the next pour. Down here, the guy's got the street all cleaned up. Edge all sawed nice. We're just gonna buggy this right here until the truck can spout. And uh, I'm just working on the joints right now. It's setting up pretty fast. Guys will be on it shortly. I gotta kind of hurry up with the joints, actually. My buddy Pete tested me from England. Oh yeah. He said, "Come to come to work with me this winter. You can stay by me and work by me all winter." In the UK? In England. Okay. Adios. <laughs> <laughs> now the guys will go out there on knee boards and they'll hand finish it. They'll clean up all the lines and and then it gets broomed. It's just a big version of your sidewalk, basically. Same deal. Except driveways are easier. Wow. Wide open spaces. Sure is prettier than asphalt, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are you doing here? Supervising. <laughs> oh, no. You got five minutes. That thing? You got five minutes of that. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. I'll give you five minutes. <laughs> okay, I can live with that too. <laughs> That's not bad either. <laughs> it's not my favorite. We'll put it that way. Eric, look, you showed Mike your moves. Look, he's finishing with one hand, he's on the phone with the other. You showed him that last week, remember? Nice work, Eric.
I haven't even been baiting weight, man. You gotta do easy money on the last stroke. I didn't broom any of this. You know, I pretty much did nothing on this pour. You know how that makes me feel? That makes me feel terrible. Well, I saved you on a strike off with your eight inches over the board. When we were all the way down to here. Yeah, yes, we did. Thank yeah. You. Appreciate it, brother. Easy money. Really easy, Eric. Oh, super. Second pour, I'm ordering the concrete right now. Get it coming. Second pour is gonna be really easy. We haven't had any rain at all, even though it's been looking pretty bad and dark, as you can see. But so far, we've been lucky. And uh, they said it's supposed to clear up in the afternoon, so I think we're good now. I'm gonna start oiling the, the broom. Oiling the broom? Yeah, so they won't get stuck. Like, you can't oil the broom, oil Eric. That's that's the worst idea you've ever had. <laughs> so you want to get oil on a new concrete? <laughs> oh, That'd be oil right. oil streaks all over. Right. What are you thinking? And, hey, I got a 12 o'clock. Yes, sir. Uh, I need 12 yards, same place, same way. How are we looking today? Um, should be on time, pretty close. A little better than last week right now? Yes, All right. yes. Okay, all right, cool, thank you. You're welcome. Yep, bye. Is that coming this way? <laughs> Hopefully not. It's just around us. <laughs> Is it actually raining though? It's just around us. Oh yeah. Oh, that's comforting, Mike. It's just around us. Right. <laughs> Stuck in the hole. Oh, it's right in the middle. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> Oh, they're just like super tiny sprinkles. Yeah, good. Like a little bless you. Yeah. You know. See? Like little little sprinkles. Sprinkle oh, dots. Yeah, yeah. Be quiet you guys. Hi. And you can set your duration. Oh. So set the duration. Like if you want you don't want it to be the text up there the whole time. Okay. You know, you can just put it for however long you want. Or if you want it to start at the end. Okay. You know, do it here. You know, that's how you play with it. Okay. Thank you, Ray. Man, I gotta teach you guys about TikTok, and you guys are in your twenties. Wow, and I'm I'm in my mid forties. I don't have one. You know more than playing on TikTok. He didn't even have social media. Two years ago, I didn't even have social media. No, no Facebook, nothing. Nope, nothing at all. Right. You gonna put all these away? All those can go away. Everything get put back on the truck. The forms. Whatever we got out, there's looks like there's some forms over there. I mean, we got plenty of time. We can get stuff cleaned up how we need it. All right, we're just waiting on our concrete. They did say it was going to probably be on time, so that's good. Our 12-yard pour here should be very easy. Guys are busy over here eating their lunch. Daryl just relaxing in his socks. Oh, he just woke up. Just Man. Woke up. He'd be sleeping. People see Daryl and everybody around here like eating and resting and everybody's like, Man, can I get a job over there? We're not hiring. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're not hiring him. Yeah, I know. I only got 13 likes on that. He goes like this. Oh, you're trying to get your TikTok to blow up? 495 views on it. Concrete's here. All right, we're ready to go. Ready to go. Good. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. You want a couple gallons? No. No. Okay. Are you guys fighting? No. Yeah, right. Yeah. Just let him do whatever he wants, man. Oh, yeah, the, I don't like listening to him yell man. all the time. I get so sick of him yelling. Oh, I know. Man. I want to and you get him me. irritated on purpose. <laughs> oh, I do Yes, you do. Oh, 
All right, first truck is empty. I'm just edging because we have so many people here. I don't even have another come along. I guess, which is okay for today. But I do like puddling. That's or striking off. Either one, I enjoy. I feel like I'm being lazy right now, but it is what it is. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be funny at all. Really. Not at all. Yeah, like when he's trying to do it before he both of us, he just throws the bombs. Yeah, are you? All right. Uh. All right, second truck just got here. Dumped this a little bit out. Pretty easy day so far. Concrete's been right on time, which is awesome. I'll stay in, you guys can all go out, I'll puddle. It's only four I'm feet. Inside cell. What's your favorite part about concrete work? The end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> We're putting those rebars in the corner because those corners like to crack off. So try to try to beef them up a little bit. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. I hate to give you a ton of bad news, but I was waiting over there and I was feeling a couple of raindrops. Don't tell me that. I don't want no rain right now. All right, concrete's down. Daryl Jr.'s down. Everything's going good. Eric's just about done ball floating. That's too high. Take it down a little bit. Okay. See it's high? Yep. It's got to be flush. Pull it tighter. All right, lines are all snapped. It's just a little wet yet to put the joints. So I'm gonna give it about 10 minutes. Slap the joints in and get this thing finished out. That's a beauty. Yeah. It's getting there. It's getting there. You got another load of cheese? I got a few loads of cheese back and forth. I'll be happy when I can get my car back up there. Man. <laughs> He's a cheese salesman. <laughs> He's a cheese salesman. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that cool? He got the best job. Man. Just so nah. Yeah. I was thinking tomorrow you could cut no, joints. I was thinking today I could cut joints. Nope. Who sprayed water all over and inside my truck? The truck was washing off right there. Well, that was really stupid. What do they do? Wash my seats too? <sighs> wow. I don't even know what to say about that. You got a truck like this and you're gonna come and wash your concrete truck right next to my trunk and spray it all off inside the window. Not smart. Red green showing you how to make extra wipers. Oh yeah. Red green show. He's got wipers for the side of the car with a weight on the bottom <laughs> that keeps him going, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs>
<laughs> Unreal. It's got a train track on the top of the car that goes around and, and flips them. <laughs> Are you dreaming of twin turbos again, Eric? <laughs> oh, what? Tri car? I don't even know what you're saying. What are you talking about? Track car? Oh, a, a Jeep track hawk. Oh. wrap it all with silver, gun silver, American flag. You don't even have to waste no more money to be put supercharged or nothing. You would destroy anybody with that truck. All right, guys, are on it. I'm cutting the last couple joints here. We'll be out of here in no time. Get that from there, brother. I'm gonna cut these little corners off because these like to break. That's it. That's it for the joints. Got it! Got it! Oh, you did it. Good job. <laughs> Got it! Ah, I got steak, but there's no glass and steak. Well, we need caution tape, so we're not leaving until it gets caution taped off, so. You can wear this. I gotta go get caution tape. You better go get caution tape. Well, this will be interesting. Now you got a camera. Now I know you're gonna work hard though. Try to impress everybody, right? What if I'm sleeping in the bushes? <laughs> All of a sudden you get a video. <laughs> Just the, the bushes. bushes. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm gonna grab caution tape. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, we'll pound those stakes in, one down here, one up there, one over there, and one over here. In? Yeah, we gotta pound the stakes in somehow. Okay. Eric, you done with this broom handle? Huh? Yeah. How are you today? Good, how are you doing? Good, You're tired. Good. I didn't recognize you without your number four. And I know. All that <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a good weekend? Yes, Hopefully. how about you? Good. Yeah. Thank you Except for the for fruit. My husband breaking the stuff over there. Did you know that? Uh-uh, what did he do? Oh, he almost threw up. What did he do? Yeah, we had the freaking chipmunks right I know, there. I heard about the chipmunk. He took that hand cart down the steps yesterday because he wanted to move some of those big, huge, there were big, huge, like, paver things on the side. And he, when he took it down the step, I was thinking to myself, I should help you just lift it down. We shouldn't bounce it down. It it hit. Just that little base thing hit the tip of the step and busted off. Oh. And I'm like, oh, oh, I now we gotta take out those steps. No. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me right now? Yeah, I'm going to go. 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 Yeah
Good job, Marcel. Yeah. What are you doing, Eric? There's a there's a spider right there. You're gonna run over it. I don't care. Watch the spider. Oh. Don't. Ah. You get me the car. Easy. Oh. Easy money. Where did he find caution tape? Water's off. I just gotta get the uh, hose undone. Where'd you find that? In the back thing. In which? And this in the um, Francisco gave it to me. Here. Uh, right. Right around the metal piece. Yep. Keep going. Yep. It's like that. <laughs> Thank you. Say adios. He just, we just say goodbye. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, let's go, boys. Let's go. See you, man. Bye, boys. If anything, I'll let him know. Okay. All right, have a good day. Adios. 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 Hasta mañana. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Taking care of him. Awesome Thank you. Adios. Adios. Seriously appreciate it. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Very good to meet you all. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, where I, I sent Ryan to go get it because nobody told me where it well, was. He's coming back then, no? I'm going to call him and tell him that too. Yeah, I got caution tape. Come over there. It's all caution tape off. You said we didn't have any caution I tape. Because did, I didn't find it. Francisco found it. Daryl told me we had no caution tape. Oh, I found it. So, I found it. So I ran all the way back to the yard and got caution tape. I found it was right there. We always keep it. I should have looked myself, man. All right. All right, I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, Daryl told me we're all out of caution tape. There's not a stitch anywhere. So I went all the way back to the yard, got caution tape. And apparently there actually was caution tape, but Daryl didn't look very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Daryl. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, the driveway looks great. I'm not going to walk around it and do another tour. You guys saw the whole process. But uh, I'm going to talk to the neighbor here. He wants a bunch of work, too. All right, so I got all that measured up for them, and it is a big job. There's a big patio in the back. Deck removal, they're gonna fill in that area with concrete as well. Garage floor, driveway, overlay the front and rear stoop. So I'll work up a price for them and send it over and see what happens. It's nice when you do a job for a neighbor because they can see the quality of your work. They're already comfortable with you. They've seen you working. And if you do nice work, you're already uh, halfway in the door. All right, so our day is not quite done. Going to look at a triaxle that I might purchase. So this truck right here behind me, it's been a good truck. I've had it for quite a few years, uh, the tandem axle, and really hasn't given me much trouble. I haven't put much money into that truck at all. It's a good running and driving. It's an easy shifting truck, and I like it. However, I have an opportunity to potentially upgrade. Uh, so we're going to go look at a triaxle. Uh, it's about the same year as this truck, but it's in really, really nice shape. It's really clean, and uh, I think it would be nice to have a little bit more capacity, too, as far as the box goes. So we're going to go take a look at that and uh, see what happens. If it's, uh, if it's what I'm looking for, I am prepared to go ahead and buy it today, but we'll see. Uh, last time I looked at it, I only looked at the outside, I just, just from a you know, from a distance, and uh, it's really clean. We haven't driven it yet, so we're gonna go drive it and uh, just see what it's like and maybe come back with a triaxle tonight. We'll see what happens. I'm bringing Daryl and Daryl with me, so we're gonna have some fun. You already know that. You guys ready? Yes, sir. Of we are. All right, all right, here we go. We tried to do this the other night, actually, but the guy canceled on us last minute so we were all sitting in the truck like dummies and then we had to turn around and go home but this time he's there and ready for us so let's go take a look <laughs> are you tired why are you sleeping man you know you're on dirt monkeys channel Oh, we finally uploaded the video? Yeah, you're the star of the show, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see? Look it. Look it. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, man. And, yeah. and you are? Daryl. Daryl, nice to meet you, Daryl. <laughs> yeah, because I met you during the 
Proto concrete. Oh, you did? No, oh, Ryan did. Ryan did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, are, we're at the right yeah, place. I was, I was there for I was the second day. I was feeling well, but. Yeah, you were sleeping in the bed. Uh, it's nice to be here now. Let's go see him. Beautiful weather too. Looks like you guys got a big project going on back here. What all are you doing back here? The patio. Easy, Malik. Hey, boss. The wi Oh, look at the tailgate's got a hole in it though. I didn't see that. See that? It's rotted. All right, there it is. How's it going? All right. Did you have much trouble getting it started, or we just went and got two new batteries? And Did you? Started right up. And she started right up. Yeah. The batteries were just junk. Hey, lift up the box so we can see the How frame and stuff. No, there you go. This is this is Daryl the Destroyer. The Destroyer, nice. I told you just when he's around you just stay out of the way right. man because he'll destroy people too right. he almost destroyed them oh, me. yeah right <laughs> needs a little bit of patching here and there right there that seam needs to be welded what i was looking at is a frame though it's not rusty at all No, it's clean. It's really clean. It's clean, eh? Huh? There's no major rust or corrosion anywhere. I mean, the box ain't perfect, but it's way better than either my Mac or my International box. Like, way better. And if these rear ends go out, you already know we know how to fix them. Yeah. We've done them before. That was a nightmare. We did it though. I'm waiting. How's it going? Alright. I'm supposed to tell you AJ says hi. Oh, alright. I talked to him on the phone the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Good guy. Is there a secret to get in a gear? I can't even I can't get it in the gear at all. It's been a while since I've been in there, but let me get a shot. Yeah, I don't even want to pop in the gear at all. There's a clutch brake and it must be gone. This slam it! Ah, that shouldn't be like that. No, it should go in. So we're here by the truck, and it is not going to go at all. No. Daryl, you destroy it. <laughs> what did I do wrong, Chris? Come on, I'll Chris. Is it dead already? Hold <laughs> on. What am I doing? I'm not doing right. I don't know. 
know, Daryl. <laughs> it's not going good so far. <laughs> it won't go into gear and now it won't start, so. I've got out just a little pot out there. I don't know. Something brakes grabbing or something. Something in the clutch. Well, if it didn't have the neutral seat, you probably would. But. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Well, that was a good shot. Yeah. That was a good, good effort. <laughs> good effort, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> good try. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks anyway, man. Yeah. If you get things going, give me a call. All right. All right. See you. Right, yep. That's all right. Oh, well, it was a good effort. All right. right. Cool. We tried. We tried. I'll keep looking. Uh, I'm sure you'll keep looking and sending me stuff, right? Yep.